Oh, hey, hi. Welcome to the most unplanned video I've made so far on this YouTube channel. I read an article today from Digital Trends talking about a brand new optical disc that has a petabyte of storage on it, which in the article they claim could hold up to 14,000 4K movies, as long as those movies are 14 gigabytes. I mean, I don't think that's the average size of a 4K Blu-ray, but you know, go off queen. Let's be clear, this is going towards archival commercial space stuff. Very boring, it's not for us home enthusiasts, but showing that they've unlocked that level of storage capacity, it made me wonder what is there that a next gen disc could offer that a 4K UHD disc doesn't. You know, we had VHS to DVD to Blu-ray to 4K, what's after that, how much of a leap could we get with this disc? Essentially unlimited space. What would be enough of a leap that not just enthusiasts, but also the mass consumer would go, oh, that? I Yes, I will purchase that. I want that. Let's create together a dream situation for what the next gen Blu-ray would be. I mean, look, there's a strong possibility that 4K, UHD Blu-rays is the end of the line for physical media. But let's have a little fun with this. Let's, uh, let's crack a beer open and have a convert. Let's be frank. I'm Joe, but let's be frank. That's so stupid. Let's start off by acknowledging that there's a lot of hurdles in the way of a next gen optical disc of any kind. I kind of made this up while thinking of this. The biggest hurdle I do think is this two two step test that a next gen Blu-ray would have. And that's will it profit the studios? And will it pass the your mom test? That's my glib way of saying, will the average consumer notice a difference in the picture and care enough to upgrade? Because if it doesn't move the mass market, it's not going to create profit for the studios and then the studios are just not going to do it. So I do have some constraints on how fanciful this what if game I'm going to do is going to go. I know this is a very YouTuber -y thing to like, hey, comment down below, drive engagement. But genuinely, this is something that I got really curious about. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm a Mr. Know-it-all about the home video market space. Like I don't, I know what I know, but I don't know what I don't know. To understand what the dream next gen disc would be, we have to look at what's already offered. And I think what current gen 4K UHD discs offer are five major draws. There's five things that I think the average consumer is like sick. I would like to purchase that for those reasons. 4K, it's in the name, baby. HDR, sick. Right. You move from the Rec 709 color space up to a P3 or Rec 2020 color space, 10-bit color, and then you also get lossless audio. Uh, so what in the world would incentivize me to buy a new disc player, upgrade my TV, yada, yada, yada? What would warrant that investment? Well, how much of an upgrade would it be? I can already hear the keyboards going 8k 8k okay 8k sure slap it on the box obviously with as the as much storage as those discs offer 8k could be handled with no issues whatsoever i just don't see hollywood shifting to 8k as a delivery spec i don't see that happening soon at least but maybe there maybe there's a big shift and i think that would maybe be brought to by like an Apple Vision Pro sort of a situation because your eye is that close, but like, really, do we need more Ks? I, mm, let's really think about what we want out of the home movie viewing experience. Is it just more resolution or is it one-to-one -one of the theatrical version? For me, what I want in this what if dream scenario it's just give me that sweet, sweet DCP. Yeah, I, that would just be so cool. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, honestly, one of the biggest differences is the codec used 
between theatrical and home video. 4K Blu-rays are capped at 100 gigabytes, but a typical DCP can run upwards of two to 300 gigabytes. The exact same codec as what I saw on the screen should be at home. And then now you don't have to compress it down into HDVC, which could potentially cause issues. 300 gigabytes at the theater, 300 gigabytes at home. It's one very nerdy feature that a DCP offers that the current gen 4K Blu-rays can't match. That is chroma subsampling, baby. Like that does not pass the your mom test. Try to explain chroma subsampling. Do it. Like I know this is all this is all this is all for fun, but it, I do think it's marketable that you could be like take the theater home and actually mean it. Like if your movie is mastered in 8K and released in 8K, boom, you have an 8K version at home. Just grab it and put it there. I don't see any reason why they would be more complicated than that. So of course you would still have to do the home grade, but you don't have to worry about the compression of it all. You just have to do export, make disc. <laughs> I just feel like right now in this world where you have to do compressed versions of the mezzanine codec, you get QC issues that you're going to have to like bounce with. You might get banding here, or there. It eats up time. The conversation would be, will you benefit from these bigger file sizes? And what we have to hold is that compression can be done very well. And just because a file is 300 gigabytes does not mean visually we will gain that much. Perhaps maybe a, on a projector or on a larger TV, like over a hundred inch TV, maybe, I don't know. If you have a big ass screen, <laughs> let me know. If you have a home theater, like a true hundred thousand dollar big projector and everything, wouldn't it be amazing to just have the same file that was screened? <laughs> now you would, absolutely have a better screening room than what a commercial theater could provide you. So sick. Give me the, just give me the straight up DCP with a thousand nit Dolby vision master. And I'll be so happy. I think what I view, what could be the next gen disc and what I, what I, my takeaway of it, my, my excitement of the, what if of it all with that much storage, there's other opportunities that could be more of a draw than 444 <laughs> chroma subsampling. You could put multiple versions of the movie on a single disc. Basically, imagine how currently when you go to your audio menu, you can see different tracks. You have your Dolby Atmos or DTSX. You have your 5.1 stereo. It would be like that. You could have your IMAX version. You could have your 3D version for those that enjoy 3D. You could have your standard theatrical version, which, you know, there are some use cases where that could be very enjoyable to have. That gives you the option to watch the IMAX version at the highest possible quality. Or if you want to do just the standardized 235 theatrical version, non IMAX version, you have that too. And that removes all the aspect ratio changes. Because some movies, most movies, it's not an issue. Some movies, it is clear that IMAX was not on the forefront of the filmmaker's mind. And it does become a distraction. Like a Michael Bay movie out there, one of the Transformers. It's going like 185, 235. It's going, it's going all over. The, I, I want to imagine there's 4-3 in there. It's just going all over the place. So having the option, just like you do in streaming, to be able to go, all right, I want the IMAX version, or I want the 235 version, would be awesome. And knowing that both of them are at equal standards, that'd be sick. And of course, special features, like load them up. But, you know, studio investment in special features has just been going steadily 
down and down. So I don't see that happening. Honestly, with audio, I don't know. That might be a, something that y'all can fill me in on. But we already have lossless DTS, Atmos. It's already, I mean, amazing. So I don't know that. <laughs> I have a little, I have more of my, I have more of my head around the visual side of a disc than I do for audio. But yeah, I mean, do I think this is a real viable product? Maybe. And to be able to have what was going to theaters in your, in your home without compromise. I think that could get some people to upgrade because then, I mean, what could you really want more of? And I, and I just think of like the movies that I want to collect in that, like the ultimate versions of beloved classics that I get to watch knowing that there is no quality dip than what I would see on the big screen. I mean, that's that I think that's my dream. You know, that's the that's what I feel like we've always been pushing towards as cinephiles and home theater theater and home theater enthusiasts. I think we're always pushing for the home to be equal to the theater. Or if you have an actual home theater, perhaps better than the commercial theater might be your drive. Cheers, folks, and uh, subscribe. Bye.